Hello everyone, this is Amar Kumar Ram. Welcome back to my channel. This is another video in Angular Library Creation Playlist. Today, we will discuss in detail on data transfer library folder structure. Inside data transfer folder, we have a source folder inside which we have a leaf folder and we have few files inside it. And these are very similar files what we get in our Angular application itself. So one is like module file, then one we have a TS file, another one we have a service file like that. So we can create multiple components and services inside a single library as well. The another file that we have is public api.ts file, which is one of the most important file we need to know. In this, we export the required services and components and modules which we try to use in our third party application when we install this library. If we create any service and do not export in this public api.ts file, then it will not be available in any third party application where we will install this data transfer library. So make sure when we create any service or component or module, then we must export that in public api.ts file. Other are very common files which we are already aware like package.json, tsconfig file, etc. In this tutorial series, we will use the existing file also will create another file and use the same in a third party application but before that we will publish the package or this library over npm artifact so let's meet in the next video to create a small package which we can use in any third party application till that if you have any doubt then please let me know in the comment section so that i can help you out also if you are new to my channel then kindly subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to not miss any notification so let's meet in the next video till that be happy take care signing off